All right, welcome back to the final round here on Yahoo Finance. Miles Udlin with you in New York. Uh, let's take a look now at what is going on in the world of Tesla today. Uh, always news when it comes to Elon Musk, but over the weekend, uh, tensions continuing to flare between the company and lawmakers in California, uh, and it has led to Musk threatening to move the company's headquarters uh, to Nevada or Texas, uh, in his words, quote, immediately. Uh, Melody Hom, this has been... Um, I wouldn't even say under the surface. This has been a clear tension between uh, Tesla, the state of California, uh, the forced shutdown of the Fremont factory around coronavirus. Elon Musk is not happy with that. Uh, I think his view on the virus itself is not exactly within uh, the mainstream medical communities. <laughs> I think it's fair to say at this point. Um, it. I don't know. Does it seem to you like this is the one? It's, uh, something's really going to change this time. Well, it's interesting, Miles, because on Friday, as we know, uh, Governor Newsom did open up a lot of retail, uh, ranging from bookstores to toy stores and some manufacturing. So Elon Musk had obviously been at the forefront of wanting the Fremont factory to reopen. As we know, uh, that was quickly shut down and that idea was seen as uh, very harmful to the employees involved. I do think that ultimately the county, Alameda County, wants to keep Tesla. No brainer. Uh, manufacturing jobs are few and far between already. A lot of the middle class folks based in Alameda depend heavily on that plant. There are about 20,000 total employees in the state of California for Tesla. I think 10,000 are in the Fremont factory alone. So as you say, yes, this is not really surprising. Elon Musk continued rhetoric. But at the same time, I do not think that local California officials, even if Governor Newsom is not really, um, you know, sympathizing with Musk, I don't think they'll just let him leave uh, so easily. As we can tell, the charm offensive is on, though, from states like Texas and Nevada. Um, Texas alone, just seeing on Twitter right now the number of local officials and judges and county folks who are saying, please come with official letters saying, we have uh, everything in place ready for you to come. Our tax rate obviously is so much lower than California. You will benefit so much more by being here. Elon Musk responding to some of them saying, duly noted, thank you, we'll consider this. Uh, I think it's still too early to say that Elon Musk will make that impulsive decision to leave California, especially because a lot of the engineering minds, of course, are based in California. I do not know if they'll relocate to Texas uh, just to work for him. And guys, do we really think this is going to happen? I mean, as, as Melody says, it's not just about so many workers already being in California. Uh, Melody used the word impulsive, and I agree. I mean, Elon Musk says a lot of things. And right now he's annoyed and impatient and wants to reopen the factory. But it, it's, it's hard to see the moving of the headquarters happen. I think, though, that if there's one executive who would do it, it would it would kind of be him. I mean, you know, Dan Ives in his note uh, on this exact topic, uh, which I think he published over the weekend, He's saying that, you know, there's a risk to Tesla's logistics over 12 to 18 months if they actually go ahead and do move the factory. But um, I don't see any scenario in which Elon Musk doesn't find many reasons to say, don't worry about the slight interruption. Like we've got the Shanghai factory. We uh, can continue to, you know, once they have operations in Germany going, presumably, uh, those are alternative ways for Tesla to um, make cars. They're making cars in tents last year. So if they have a bunch of tents in Texas, I guess, for a few months, maybe it's going to be fine. I I could see Elon doing this because, um, I don't know, it's just, it's a very Elon thing to say, <laughs> I don't like the place where I've always been. And so I will pick up my ball and go home. Or I guess the, home in Texas. Yeah. The embarrassing, yeah. Go ahead, Dan. Well, the embarrassing scenario is you imagine him doing it and as he gets involved and finally California opens, while he's now they're in the process of getting things up and running as the new headquarters somewhere else. And it's sort of like, OK, if you had just waited. Yeah, I, I wanted to point out, especially as we talk about the shape of these so-called recoveries, the W, the V, everything in between, especially if we see a W. And to be honest, regardless of what the recovery looks like, you can't just reopen a factory at its full capacity. Right. So even if Texas is saying, yay, we're open and you're free to move however you want guaranteed in a manufacturing plant, there will be additional cases. That's just undeniable when you have people in those kinds of close quarters. So to Dan's point, I think it would be foolish of him. Uh, and Ives points out in this note, he says it'll be 12 to 18 months for this to actually happen, uh, kind of humoring Musk's idea if he were to relocate. I don't think uh, that'll be an end all be all situation, right? I think there will be a lot of upfront costs that he'll incur that perhaps retrospectively, a lot of investors will shake their head at. 
All right. All right. Let's, let's take a bet. Let's take a bet. Three of us. I, I think Tesla will move their headquarters to Texas. Whoa. You're not even giving yourself other states. It's just going to be Texas. Uh, I'll just pick Texas. No, yeah, why not Nevada? It's all happening in Vegas right now. I'm picking so, Texas. What's your bet? Doesn't matter. I think Elon will stay. At least for, I mean, I don't think he'll be leaving in the next six months. No, this is like in, okay, fine. All right. Yeah, no, we have to do the timeline. What's I know, the, we didn't do the parameters. We didn't do the size of the bet. No one's getting odds. Next, fine. let's do whether MLB comes back in 2020. No, no, no. no. <laughs> we'll do that in the commercial break. All right. Uh, so there it is. I say Tesla moves. My two... Uh, my two co-hosts say Tesla does not. Right. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.